You have been activates <laughs> his Yuki Robo jets and streaks across the floor, foot first, aiming to slam directly into Takeru's head with his big robot feet. Okay. Which is, You're which is... been pleasantly vibrated by uh, Taki, uh, Kazuya's voice. All right. So when I do a melee attack in my robot, am I using the ride skill? Um. Yes, you are. Okay. All right, because so, so dice, super technically dice. you're ramming them. Yeah. The dice bonus is four. And sorry, was there a misc bonus or was that related to something else? Uh, the other bonus that he got was he lowered your critical value to nine. Ah, okay. Nice. That hits because he doesn't want to dodge. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to use my robot attack. Tenth digit is two. Yeah, I was hoping to get his thing up as high as possible so that his ten digit would be more. <laughs> it worked. Okay, uh, dice bonus doesn't apply to the damage roll. That's right. And the misc bonus is one from my encroach level. That all correct? Miss bonus one from the approach level. What? Oh wait, this isn't a power. No, sorry. No. no, no. All right, let's see what we can do. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just stomps on him mercilessly. Fourteen damage. Not as mercilessly as he'd hoped, but still pretty mercilessly. You'd like just stomp vigorously on him, and he's like got all this sand around him that's trying desperately to hold on, but uh, you know he's he's slowly being crumbled into dust, literally, literally dust. That's the way it goes. Takiro's turn again. Really, what? you no. missed the opportunity to make that perfect. No pun. biblical close. I'm Drum not. Up. I'm not going to do the dust to dust one. It's not going to happen. <laughs> not <laughs> even a way that's not even that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh well, I guess I could have done that. <laughs> we'll hold out on it. In rage at the pun, I'm going to kill uh, Sakuraba horror quickly. <laughs> oh, I came all this way so that he'd want to hit me. That's okay. I don't want to die. Well, you is blockading him, so. She is sacrificing her body. I guess I'm going to try and dodge again. This will be the last time she's up. Roll high, roll high, roll high, roll high. I believe in you. Three big dice money, big money. Yes, three dice holes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Must be all that stealth going on. Must be. Must be. Like this fiery blade of like sand and steel crashes down onto the stairs and use like for a moment you think that you has been cleaved in half but then it just turns out to be like a, a after image of her light powers it's like you <laughs> he can't do shit so uh you hmm thank the ancestors how bad would it be if i used that same combo again and went to 114 and crouch <laughs> It'd be fine. Really? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, no, yeah. It's it's totally fine. Remember, there know. is another session after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, <laughs> the next I'll just use weapon is, like this time. The next time. session is, is we get Matt to come back and he has to do all the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, just just weapon like this time. Okay. 
So that's uh, plus four from the check for weapon link. Um, yes, actually, because you're boosting it by level. And three from encroach, so seven. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven dice, fellas. Damn. Bazing. Now just look at all those numbers if you just use to uh, concentrate. Uh, mm -hmm. Which would have lowered your CV to 7 because it's getting a boost too. Yeah, but I have to save some. <laughs> you guys are playing so cautiously with your encroach. <laughs> We're really over 100! <laughs> yeah. So? Okay. All right, but yeah, that hits, so, because he's not dodging, ever, so just go ahead and roll your damage. This will be kind of sad, I'm sorry to say. Yep, doesn't need to pass his guard. Oh, well, it was worth a try. The, the aftermath to this adventure is going to be all these characters taking a week off. <laughs> <laughs> to the beach. Just, no, <laughs> you got to recover this encroach. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Stick them all in quarantine. Uh, I'm just gonna try and go for it. <laughs> Finish him. Yeah, try to put the put the claws to him. Do I don't mind no, not doing any damage because I got my dodge roll, so I'm satisfied. Yeah, that was an insane dodge. It was good. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Dramatically appropriate. Yeah. Ten out of oh, ten. Let's see. Would dodge again. <laughs> At 103 encroach, I get a plus 3 dice bonus. Yes, you do. I'm not going to bother with the Beast Roar right now, and uh, just go for it. Alright, that hits. Alright, um... Now, with the encroachment adding the plus one level bonus to my powers, that mm -hmm. should make my attack go up. If you're using a power that gets a bonus, yeah. Mighty Theory on Three, it's uh, level level times two attack bonus. And I have it at uh, three out of five right now, so it's technically four out of five. Okay, yeah. Alright, so that would change Just my... Just add an extra two to the missed bonus. Okay. And the digit was a one. Damn. Not too bad. Too shabby. Still crack it. He's still hanging on, though. It'll be up to Kazuya. Just barely hanging on. Just barely. 7 HP. Kazuya. Uh, well, let's see if I can uh, put paid to this salary, man. So let's see, I have about a two dice bonus right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not using any other powers because uh, let all these other chumps go over 100 encroach. Not me. <laughs> mm -mm. Not today. I just I can't see white heat without giggling. <laughs> it is the best name. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Mm -mm. Nothing. Join Yuki Robo. Friend to all children. Yuki Robo Crush. <laughs> Friend to all the damn kids. <laughs> Yuki Robo Suplex. Yuki Robo. Yes. Um, he doesn't have any hands left because he shot them both to no effect. But uh, his right wrist suddenly morphs <laughs> and starts making a strange worrying noise 
<laughs> oh snap, are you logging up in here? Not quite. Quite the opposite, actually. As he draws it he back, gone. and he swings it down towards the crumbling Sandman. The whirring intensifies. It's a sound you've probably all heard before. A dentist drill? A jackhammer? That was, that was <laughs> terrible. But I don't think he's going to dodge anyway. No. You don't care about dodging. All right, here we go. Boom! Oh. Wow. As the fist descends on the now completely dusted to Sandman, the whirring resolves into the sound of a vacuum. <laughs> Sucking up all the dust and the Morpheus power that made Takeru Ishigaya whatever he was. Once it's all sucked up, the whirring gradually dies down, and Yukinori lowers his fist, saying, Now that's what I call... A dust buster. <laughs> you take 20 encroach just for that. <laughs> oh, horrible. You loved it. <laughs> <laughs> the Karuichi guy is no more. Can I use my minor action to clear my berserk finally? Yes. Okay. I don't really know how. But... No, I'm dead. Sorry. Is it our state? Yes, it is. Okay, thanks. Don't thanks. use clear state. Yeah, that gets rid of your character sheet. That's I know. Bad. I remember from Dragon Age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You have successfully fought off the soul... Uh, uh, I guess you'd call it a failure, but really that was stacked against you. Um, this the germ that was formerly uh, Takeru Ichigaya, and he is now safely vacuumed within the confines of Yukirobo. Germs we'll don't take him around. Let's we'll <laughs> no, take him to don't. the containment unit in the basement. <laughs> yep. Take him back to HQ. Well, not him. <laughs> So what happened to the other guy? And Yukinori just kind of dumped some dust on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending you my dragon into pieces. pieces. <laughs> <laughs> he crumbles under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well. After that, well, and you know, I assume you, you know, things settle. They, you, feel as though. Well, most of you at least are over a hundred percent, but not Kazuya. You can feel the renegade virus surging within you. It's it's pretty damn uh, taxing mentally just to keep yourself in check. You have to recount your memories of uh, your fond memories of loved ones and things like that. But you, at the moment, are not in at a risk of turning into germs yourself because, well, you're made of sterner stuff. Your heroes are away. We're characters, damn it. That's true. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> After that, uh, Ryoko still seems to be kind of out of it. Yeah, I was um, say, I wouldn't mind going over there to be like, uh, <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> she kind of, like, Client, uh, crawls now that there's like no fighting going on, she like crawls into a corner and just sits there. Except because she's still a kaiju, and it'd be like, It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> She'd uh, snap back to her human form for that. She opens her mouth, it's just a Godzilla sound. <laughs> uh. Nah, she's Kai... over there. Make sure she's okay, because holy shit, she scared the shit out of that girl. Right. Well, that fight scene would pretty much end the scene, 
but then we transition into the next scene, which would be uh, essentially. Well, actually, I guess I, there's nothing saying that it would be a different scene, huh? Yeah, it wouldn't be. So I'm going to be merciful and say that you guys don't need to transition into a new scene yet. <laughs> Kasumi wanders over to deal with uh, Ryoko. As for the rest of you, Kai, you know, he's just kind of st staring at the spot where Takeru used to be, but then was so tidily vacuumed up. And he seems, like, pretty much in shock. He doesn't really know what to do, and he's just kind of standing there. I assume you have some questions for him, though. Yeah. He kind of shakes his head and goes, Damn, is that... Is that what we're turning into? No, you don't let it happen. Anyway. It doesn't have to be. Kasuga never said anything about that. Kasuga's a piece of shit. You should know that by now. <laughs> but he was there. I, there was this guy... He was weird and freaky. and had, like... This... Oddly well shampooed silky hair. <laughs> so she's picture is just so beautiful. <laughs> His hair is really nice. This is anyway. like the good thing that she's across the room because then it, like everything would be very. <laughs> no, he's talking about someone else, not Costco. Uh, oh. Um, yeah, he, he starts recounting this tale on his own because you know he's kind of in shock and babbling. And apparently how he was recruited into this whole mess was uh, he was he is indeed a Yakuza person. The, the shock among shocks. Um, he's a Kobun. What? Yeah, he's a Kobun in the uh, local Yamaguchi Gumi. And essentially he says that he joined up right out of high school even though he apparently had good grades. And uh, he said that he was always into like the the high Hollywood notion of what a Yakuza person was. And, well, he learned kind of the truth of the matter as, you know, inevitably that was going to happen. So, he's killed some dudes. He said, just says it outright. And he doesn't know how or why or f f what possibly could have made that happen, but he was sent into an apartment building to, you know, intimidate the tenants into leaving so that the landlord would sell to them. And as soon as he knocked on the door, some guy that he'd killed answered the door. He, he freaked out. And just the entire building was somehow filled with people he's done wrong by his whole life. It was, and then before he went insane, Casica was there. It's most likely he set the whole thing up. The only way to awaken these powers in a person is to give them some kind of life-altering shock. Now, me, I've been training people like you for a big part of my life now. It's important to remember that whatever you've had to do, you can come back from it. You just have to learn how to control it. His answer to that is a big ol' shit. Yeah, he's pretty freaked still. But he seems to be calming down after his long rambling backstory. It's gonna be alright, man. We can help you. He at least seems to calm down at that. Before that, though, aren't we missing someone? Hmm? Are we? Yes, the girl that Costago was seen with. I think that's right. Yeah, that's true. You're missing one of them, Toka. Mm. You're gonna have seen to... this girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, ask ask him ask him? If, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Uh, Kai writes to him. You have a picture on you, and he just like looks at it and nods his head immediately. Yeah, that's that that chick that always hangs around with Kasuka. She just she didn't seem like one of us, but she just totally seemed into the whole idea of being one. Freaking dizzy broad. She's in great danger. I don't know where she is. She left with Kasuka like an hour ago. Any idea they where didn't he say is? Where they were going? No, they said 
something about going on a date was pretty damn freaky, to be honest. But Ugh. Ugh. he just mentioned that he had big plans for big plans for all of us, in fact. But something was special about her. Yeah, well, clearly he's a pervert. Clearly, he he just like <laughs> nods, like you don't even need to convince him of that. He just nods. <laughs> It was like, yep, mm hmm. <laughs> Poor Kazuya. <laughs> He's like the most normal of all the characters, and everything just keeps falling apart around him. <laughs> <laughs> he pipes up with, so, as though he suddenly remembers something, and he, like he's snapping his fingers um, as he tries to recall this memory. Yeah, this, this, he didn't really say where he was going, but he just said that they were going to stop the UGN and let all the other overage rise up. Mm -hmm. Let them come out of the shadows. Whatever the hell that meant. Yeah, well, probably means like our buddy Takeru over there. Well, over well, here. Oh. You can already sort of <laughs> he's holding up a, he's holding up a ziplock bag. Puts the bag. vacuum bag <laughs> behind his back, containing the remains of Takeru. <clears throat> Terrible. Yeah, take Where do down you think he gets there. more sand from? <laughs> Don't tell them. Oh. Shh. <laughs> there can be only one. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't really know anything more than that. All right. It sounds like we might need to get back to the cafe. He didn't have like an office or anything around here, did he? What, Soichi or Kasuga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasuga. Well, there's the bathroom up in the corner. I hope that's not his office. <laughs> he's the fawn suddenly. I wouldn't be surprised if he did it in like yeah, everything he's weird. out of the bathroom. Scumbag. <laughs> I think we should at least give the place a little bit of a once over in case there's any I don't know indication. And yeah. also shouldn't we be calling the I was going to say we should call the UA to yeah. pay up a these guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm bad at pig Latin. I'm going to give Uwata a call on my cell phone, my cell phone which I such oh, have. <laughs> I'm just poking around just in case there's anything any sign in there. He just made a custom hacked SIM card out of sand. Yeah, I can do that. That's how I roll. He could. It's true. Well, a lot of those knockoff cell phones um, <laughs> actually have two SIM card slots. Yeah. And to program it, you just reaches a hand over and on the smart card. <laughs> <laughs> Here, tap. Now you get HBO. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> And so right. call up Uwata and tell him, you know, oh, we got two of them. Third was already too far gone. He sounds kind of sad about that. But yeah. he says he'll send a, send a team over to pick them up. Right. Now, I need you to set up some more surveillance around the cafe. Seems like this uh, Kasuga guy is trying to make a strike on the UN, UGN. Something major. Something with letters UN in it. Yeah. <laughs> and a G. All right, he seems to take that pretty seriously, and uh, it's like the most grave you've ever heard his voice. But uh, yeah, he, he'll uh, he'll make it happen. I'm gonna take a look around take... here. Whoever's looking around, go ahead and uh, roll perception. Wow, complete with our bonuses. Yes, complete with your bonus. Yeah, we're still encroached. Good rolls. Man, Sakuraba's got a lot of, like, a lot of senses, but... <laughs> Look at all those no ones. ones. <laughs> it's half my roll is ones. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter, you got that nine. I got that nine. Yep. We're not playing uh, Shadowrun, we're, you know, or rather Shadowrun 5th, we're... <laughs> <laughs> Critical failure. Or World of Darkness. Ugh. Just rolled a glitch. Everyone yeah. negates success. Nikki Nori's no, eyes no. suddenly explode. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes new ones out of sand. 
Better yeah. ones. What color are All they? Right. Brown. All right, so there is a bathroom up there. It's, you know, it still has running water, thank God. Um, these kind of crates here just seem to be, uh, like, provisions, like MREs and things like that. Maybe even a first aid kit? Yes, there's some of those. Because then we can recover some of our health. <laughs> That'd be nice. Kazuya tries a bit of an MRE, makes a face, and throws it aside. <laughs> <laughs> Blech. Blech. Sure, I will be generous and say that you all recover health, maximum health. Oh. Maximum? Uh, the beds over here just seem to be like cots. Oops. It's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he trips and ends up uh, shoving a needle in some place. You know the cutter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we established he I got... was the cutter. He didn't realize that the package had been compromised and poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the beds over here are just basically cots. They're, you know, they're clean, but they're not really comfortable. Uh, it kind of, it has the feel, if you had to take a guess, of like kind of like a militia sort of setup almost. Bunker, you know, bunker. yeah, like a bunker, almost as if the map is named that. Yeah, well, these like, what's it? Hmm? Frozen hearts or whatever the crap they're called. They're like a terrorist. <laughs> False hearts, but yes, that's exactly right. Rusty hearts. I don't know. Something. <laughs> False. That, that, that's hearts. the game I play. Hearts over these, false te these false teeth guys. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so no hints here. No clues. Nothing at all, but since you rolled a 10... Yeah, all of a sudden you feel that someone just used warding. Uh-oh. That sort of weird tingly sensation you get when, you know, all the extras, the, you know, the, the, the not over it's just suddenly stop moving. Of course, that's no one in here, but at the same time, no one in here used it. <clears throat> Plus, our UGN friends presumably wouldn't have had time to get here yet. Not yet. It's only been a couple minutes. Oh, shit. With that, we transition to a new scene. Who's going to check it out? Well, since I have the lowest encroach, I will. And unfortunately, Sakuraba must uh, attend the scene. Alright. I'll just have to hope for a 1 on the 1d10. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I, I guess I'll go as well and say, like, Azumi, keep things in control here. Roger. <laughs> He's turning into Batman. <laughs> <Where to be? laughs> oh! Oh! Damn! Oh, oh no! <laughs> well, now everyone's at 100%. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. Uh, speaking of which... What's up? Have we had the sufficient time to bond with each other and become Lois's? Yes, if you wish to create Lois's to one another, you totally may. I'm going to do that, because I'm going to need every Lois I can get. Uh, oh, you... I have a Lois with Kazuyaku. It's seven, right, is the maximum? Yes, maximum is a seven. Yeah, I'm at max. How many do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I believe so I have five as well. After I've got... this, I'll be at max. I've got Mio Nekagawa. I've got my revenge towards germs. Got my famous parent that I never actually clarified that. <laughs> we got Sakuraba, Owada, and my dislike of Fumihiro. <laughs> oh, let's see. Alright, so this next scene, I don't have a map for it, so we'll just have to use our imaginations. I know that's hard, but. I gotta put in a transition here, so until the next time, all the best. All right.